Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicles Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Now, y'all know they say hips don't lie, child, but we all found out that that was a lie after following this case with Big Hip Tim Norman. Sis listened to the hearing yesterday, and we do have a few updates. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now, let's get back into it. Now, wait a minute, y'all. Before we even get into the tea, we have a word from our sponsor, Current. Y'all check this out. Baby, if you do not have yourself a current card, you are missing out. Current is the bank of the future. They're not one of those prepaid debit cards. This is a real bank that allows you to get paid up to two days faster. Current allows you to get free overdraft protection up to $100. They're located at over 55,000 free ATMs. And get this, you can deposit checks using your camera phone. They're compatible with Venmo, Cash App, Apple Pay and Google Pay, and it's free to join. It only takes two minutes. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself a current card today and tell them your girl Chronicle sent you. The link will be down in the description box below. Now y'all know a company has to be good to get your girl Chronicles on camera, child, because y'all know I be behind the scenes doing my thing. But y'all go ahead and get yourself a current card because I am enjoying mine. Now let's get back into the tea. So there was a status conference yesterday via Zoom and your girl was there to listen in. This was for Tim Norman, Terika Ellis, Y.L. Yagnum, and Travail Anthony Hill. Now they started off with an attorney's only hearing. Counsel for the government was there. Tim's attorneys were there and Terika's attorneys were there there and the reason why I'm emphasizing the word attorneys is because as you remember in my previous video these two were facing the death penalty and when that happens another attorney is appointed to help with your first attorney in such proceedings but we will get into that death penalty and update you on all of that in a second now Wail's attorney was there and Wail is the only one of the four that are out on bond but homeboy's charges are adding up, honey, and we'll get into that as well. Now, Travail Anthony Hill's attorney was there as well. The judge steps up and she says, hey, we received notification that they are no longer seeking the death penalty for Tim and Terrica. Now, Ms. Dennis comes up. She's the representative for the government, and she says, okay, yes, we're no longer seeking the death penalty for Tim and Terrica. However, Travail Anthony Hill is not in the clear yet. His stuff is still pending because Travail was not arrested until months later. He wasn't arrested arrested right when Terrica and Tim were he was arrested much later so his stuff is going to wait and I honestly think he's the trigger man I could be wrong so I don't know if his death penalty situation will stick or not but we will see the judge then comes back and says that under the criminal justice act when a defendant is charged in a death eligible count the court is required to appoint learned counsel to represent the defendant she then tells Tim and Terrica's learned counsel that they are no longer needed and they're relieved of their duty now, the judge brings up the fact that there is a superseding indictment in the case and that's part of the reason for the meeting today now Miss Dennis, who represents the government said yes there is a superseding indictment because Travell is the new defendant that was added and is charged in count one and count two of the superseding indictment. She then also adds that Wael Yagnum is now facing five additional charges of aggravated identity theft. Now let me remind you, Wael is out on bond. Everybody else is in jail doing their time. This is the feds, honey. They could have hit Wael with all of those charges up front. They are getting him now because homeboy ain't giving them the information they need. They need him to point the finger to someone else. I don't know what's going on he is not giving them what they need they need him to talk and that's the reason why he's out that boy is out there they got him probably using his phone inviting people over they probably recording all his conversations child they are waiting for him to do something stupid and it's crazy because out of all of these four dummies he seems to be the brightest bulb in the box and believe me child that ain't saying much but there is a reason why he just got hit with these five extra charges so y'all hop in the comments and tell me what y'all think about that now the judge then asked for an update on the discovery. Now Miss Carroll who represents the government says that they've made one production and they'll make another production by the end of the week that will have a significant amount of discovery in connection with the superseding indictment. I.e. we got all of the information to connect the dots on why Travell has been added to the case and why Wael has these extra charges. 
on top of everything else we got. Now she then said that they did a reverse proffer with Miss Ellis and her attorney. And basically what a reverse proffer is, is when the prosecution describes the evidence to the defendant and the attorney and they just listen. This typically happens when the case against you is so strong that they try to talk you into pleading guilty. And that's something that none of these four defendants have done. Everybody is saying they're in. Now Miss Carol did advise that they did not do a reverse proffer for Tim, but it does sound like it's coming she said there will be more productions coming soon now tim's attorney was like hey i got y'all's productions but it was heavily redacted meaning stuff was x'd out and crossed out he pretty much said next time y'all come with your stuff together have your stuff in order so i'll know what evidence y'all got against my client so i can come back with the comeback now tim's attorney definitely sounds like he was worth all of the money that they paid him whatever they paid him they decided to set up another status conference in 90 days travel attorney agrees Tim's attorney agrees so everybody is going to come back for another status conference in 90 days and that will be on March 2nd now then they have Tim's hearing Tim is sworn in. Miss Dennis, who is the representative for the government, explains the superseding indictment. And Tim's attorney reveals that he read the indictment to Mr. Tim Norman. They waive the right to have the indictment read in court. And Tim enters a plea of not guilty in regards of all of the charges brought against him. Next up to bat, we have Wail Wally Yagnum. He's sworn in, he gives the judge his full name upon her request, and he admits to being 42 years of age, saying his highest level of education is two years of college. His attorney advised that he did read the superseding indictment to Wael, and they will waive the reading of the indictment in court, and he enters a plea of not guilty. The judge confirms that he has been charged in counts three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are six charges in full. Five charges that were recently added and the judge accepts the plea of not guilty. Now, Miss Carroll, who represents the government, explains the difference between the superseding indictment and the original indictment. She states that five counts of identity theft are new and the wire and mail fraud still stands from the original indictment. The judge explains the status conference that they recently had and Wael remains out on bond. Next up to bat, we have Miss Terika Tanisha Ellis. Now, Terika's hearing is happening. Terika is sworn in and she admits to being 36 years of age. The judge then asks Terika how far she got in school and Terika replies, the ninth grade. Now typically dropping out of school will give you the street smarts, but obviously sis does not have that either. Terika waived her rights of reading the indictment and entered a plea of not guilty in which the judge accepted. Now they went over everything that happened in the attorney's only hearing and they let her know that the next hearing will be March 2nd. They then released her back to her cell. Next up to bat, we have Mr. Travell Anthony Hill. Now at his hearing, child, I'm not sure what was going on with the jail phone, but it sounded like he still had that burner phone that Tim gave him a few years ago. Now the judge asked for his name and he responds by giving his name. He explains that he's 29 years old. He gives his date of birth and he says that he made it through 12th grade. He advised he's on medication and it does not alter his ability to understand the hearing that's going on in the proceedings. Travell's attorney advised that they did go over his superseding indictment together and they waive the right of the formal reading of the superseding indictment and they also plead not guilty and the judge accepts the plea. The government did advise that there is a complex case motion and because the two counts that he's being charged with are death eligible offenses, the Department of Justice needs to make a determination as to what penalties will be authorized in that case. Now because this case is death eligible, the judge advised that he can have another counsel appointed in the case just like it was with Tim and Terica, his attorney advised that he did want learned counsel. Now they advised that he's supposed to remain in custody, so he will be in custody, Tim will be in custody, and so will Terica. But Mr. Wail Wally Yagnum is land of the free and home of the brave child. They really got their finger on him. I don't know what they're doing, but Wail knows a little bit more than what he's telling, but they're definitely trying to get him the squeal child. Now I do not know when this trial is gonna start. You have hearing after hearing after after hearing it does not seem like this trial will be starting anytime soon however your girl will definitely be listening to clue you in on everything that's happening i do know that the government has so much information so much evidence against each and every one of these people 
I don't know how their attorneys are gonna get them out of it, child, but I would love to see. Anyway, what I need you to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about everything that's going on with this case. Have you been following it with me? Have you been watching the videos and keeping up? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We will talk about it down below. And y'all don't forget to click the link down below and get yourself a current card. Don't say I ain't tell you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.